All right, guys, so what we're doing today, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hook up the E3 flasher to our NOR chip PS3. Um, this one in particular here is a CECHL01. So what we wanna begin by doing, making sure your console's a NOR console. I prefer you do that before you tear it all apart. But if you've already torn your console apart and it is not a NOR model, go ahead and replace the thermal paste um, just because huh, it's pretty horrible their paste is ridiculous theirs and Microsoft's it, it's it's garbage here's what I prefer to use Arctic Silver best paste I've yet I've came across yet it's amazing it works flawless so um, what we're going to do next, we're going to inspect the NOR chip real fast to make sure that we know where the top and the bottom of the chip is located. So, right there it says Samsung across it. It's located right next to the, uh, I believe that is the Southbridge chip right here, which is tied in directly to the uh, GPU and CPU. But anyway, so right there is what we want to look at. Find the little dot on mine, it's right up here, top left corner, there's a little dot, which, you know, tells me that this up here is the top. So right here is the top of the chip, right here is the bottom of the chip. Second thing, before we get into, you know, putting the clip on and whatnot, go find yourself two pennies and some masking tape. Um, get a piece long enough to get it around the penny three times. If you have to go around it four times, five times, it's okay. Ten times, that's pushing it a little. What we want to do, we want to wrap up some pennies in some masking tape or some electrical tape. Now, I don't have any electric tape. I'm all out right now, so masking tape is also non-conductive, so that's what we're using. The reason being, something has to hold the NOR clip down on top of the chip the whole time we're doing this because if even one contact pops up, you're SOL. <laughs> you gotta start over. And uh, we all know taking apart a PS3 is not the funnest thing to do. All right, so before we get the clip seated, on the side here it appears, it looks like a little like three steps. It's like one right here on the edge, and then the top, and then there's a little, like, like a little, you know, dealy sticking out, a piece of plastic all the way across, and if you turn it sideways, it looks like a set of steps. Sand off that little piece there, and the piece on this side. You'll see what I'm talking about when you look at the clip. Sand them off because there are a couple little resistors down here that are going to make it so the clip will not sit flush on top of the NOR chip. So sand it down. Um, if you're running into any errors when you, you know, first start up the E3 and go to, you know, get your dump and do everything, whatever, and you run into some errors, more than likely it's because the, the clip is not seated correctly on the chip. So that's the first thing you want to take off and then, you know, re-sand back down. Anyways, on to the next step. The little thing, uh, the little circle in the corner, like I said, here's the top of the NOR clip and then where the ribbon cable coming out is the bottom. Also a piece of masking tape so we can hold it down. That way we can reroute the uh, ribbon cable to where we want it to go. So first things first. I don't know if you heard that snap there. It's now it's all, it's on there. So we can go ahead. Lay down our tape. And you want to make it sure, you know, you lay it right here in the little bridge area, if you can see, you know, it's called a bridge. Um, do it right there in the middle because then we are going to take this flap and fold it over so it's hanging out right next to our hard drive. Well, you know, where the hard drive goes and the SATA and the power connector there. Next, take your pennies. We're going to flip it over actually because it sits a little better. Just kind of get them to sit right in the middle there because the reason they're going to hold, let me get this 
top shrouding out of the way. They're going to rest right up against here where these little vent holes are. It's going to rest right up against there and hold that clip from coming loose. Because uh, like I said before, I think that's the last thing everybody wants to do right now is have to tear it back apart. So move this away from the camera so I don't knock it over just a little bit. All right, and then kind of inspect right there. As you can see, you can see my pennies right here. Just kind of look at an angle and make sure that the shrouding is touching the masking tape around the pennies. And then make sure, if you look, you can see my board pushes down just a little bit. If it's sticking clear up, you, you know you got too much there, but mine's just barely. So I say it's perfect. So now what we're gonna do grab a hold of the bottom side of the motherboard and then flip it over. We are flipped over. Now there are no screws required when you're putting this back together. Honestly, the only screws you're going to have to put in are the ones that hold down your heat sinks to your CPU and your GPU. So go ahead and get that laid out right there. I think it looks good. Now, just got to grab my uh, clips from over here. Just grabbing the screws real fast for it. Got them in my little bin here. All right. Wrong one. Like I said, I was doing another one just a little bit ago, so. All right. Now the reason I'm doing this now, getting the screws put in here, is just because it'll kind of hold the shrouding together so it's not going to move at all while we're dropping it back down inside of the base. Because this is one where it's got the fan, you know, screwed to the bottom of the actual case, not the console. So now that that's done. All right, grab my screwdriver here. Give me one more second. All right, so now that we're done basically here, You want to flip over the ribbon cable just a little bit there because for some reason it must have just came loose a hair. <clears throat> Take your board, slide it on in there, plug it in, <clears throat> and then snap the clip down. right in place there and now we can just actually hold on one second Drop the screw. Okay. So now that that's done, go ahead, plug in your power supply. 
Disk drive's not needed for the first half of it, so we don't need that to get the dump. So as far as that goes, we are done. That is the installation of it. Pretty simple if you ask me. So we'll go ahead and stop this video here because uh, that's really all you need to know about the installation. And uh, we'll be back with another video on the setup of it, of, you know, getting it set up to pull the dump off the PS3, reflashing it, all that good stuff. So, be watching. It should be coming maybe tonight. Yeah, probably tonight. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead, like it. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, there are quite a few already out there. I think I've got 54 videos uploaded as of right now. Um, go ahead and subscribe because not only do I have uh, you know a small giveaway going on, but I plan on doing a hell of a lot more. So, yep, like I said, like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.